Hey guys, welcome to Channel Everything, and today I'm going to show you how to set up the connections and wiring up everything to the motherboard. So if you haven't seen parts one, one and two, I suggest you go watch those before we get started here. So here I have a tab connector. All the parts are down in the description, and so and the wire from the uh, heated bed. So. First, what I'm going to do here is, let's see if I can get a close-up. Come on, focus. All right, there we go. So what I'm going to do is push the wire through the, um, through the hole in it. They're supposed to be crimped on or something like that, but I'm just going to solder it on like this. And then just put it get out the soldering gun. Hi. Right, so I actually have a metal ruler that I'm gonna be working on because I just don't want to damage the table. So that's why it's there. Stay there. Does help if you have like something else holding it, but it's really quick, easy. I'm gonna make sure that you get the solder into the hole and not just on the top parts. And then we're going to do the same thing for the negative. Okay, so now that the heated bed is all wired up, I'm going to make the connection for the uh, thermistor. And the connector I have here is a JST connector. Again, in the description below, I'll leave a link. And you have to actually modify it a little bit because it won't uh, fit exactly. So you just have to make it a little bit thinner. But for a thermistor, it doesn't matter what's the positive or what's the negative. So you can just wire it up and make sure it has heat shrink on it. Okay, so once that once now you have finished all the connection, making all the connections, um, you can install the heated bed onto the printer. So I have already glued down all the connectors, and basically what you're going to want to do is put a screw through the top, then a washer. And then you, oops, jeez, kind of helps if you set the heated bed down, but I'm trying to show you guys how to do it. And then you're going to put a spring on, and then another washer. And then you just want to set that down. And this part's a little bit tricky, so. I just have to take your time on it because they tend to fall out when you uh, move it around, but take your time. Okay, so now that it's installed, um, we can make the final connections. And basically the whole point of this was not only to have the heated bed, but it was also to be able to mount it on these so the corners could be, be uh, help uh, level the bed and you didn't have to do it the normal way 
which was trying to level uh, level the printer out by uh, changing the height of the extruder. So it makes it a lot easier. And now that that's done, so I'll just show you here how to connect everything up. So you want the red to go to that uh, bottom left one, bottom left tab. Just slide that in. It's a little tight, but it'll stay in. And then you want the negative to go to the top right one. Um, I'm not sure exactly if it matters what the polarity is of the bed because I've read some places that doesn't matter but other places where it says it does matter um, but this is what works so if you're just unsure you can just do what I did and then again here's the modified JSC connector let's see if I can get a close up on this There we go. So you can see how the ends are a little scratched off because I just wanted to make it, make it a little bit thinner so it fits better. And you just want to plug it into that right uh, socket there. And that will just slide right in. And bam. So I've had a little bit of problems with it trying to get a good um, reading. Sometimes if you move it just a little bit, it might come undone. But you just gotta kind of play around with it. So everything's connected, and we just have one last thing to do um, before we can do our test print. So what's next is we have to install a spacer in between this screw and the end switch or stopper switch, whatever you want to call it. Or you could really just buy a longer screw, but I just wanted to 3D print something, it was a little bit easier. Because you need to compensate for the extra height on the heated bed. So you want to first do is make sure that the screw is all the way up, or all the way down, sorry, and then put the uh, then put some hot glue on it. It just makes it easy, easy connection. And just push it up in there and wait for it to dry and that's it it's pretty simple so there are other ways if you guys have uh, any other ways of doing it you can put them in the comments below but this is just a quick and easy way and I had already un un or cut off the 3d printer so I just wanted to uh, um, print something off that would work so um, right now I'm just leveling the uh, bed to see if I need to adjust the screw and it looks like I do because there's still too much space so I'm just gonna raise it up all the way so you're probably going to have to play around with this part a little bit trying to get the level uh, right you just want to be within like a few millimeters of the heated bed and the rest you could probably just adjust on the uh, uh, the screws on the heated bed itself So I'm gonna test it again Okay, looks like there's still a little bit more space, so I'm going to tighten it down a little bit more. Let's try again. Hi, and that's pretty good. So you you can actually see a little bit where it's uneven, but uh, that could be fixed by leveling the bed. And that's it, uh, project's finished. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If there's anything unclear in this video series, leave them down below in the comments. I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.